Hey guys, well today I got another program that uh, I think you guys would enjoy. Um, the name of this one is CC Cleaners, and it uh, it's a real powerful tool for Windows operating system. I mean, I don't know how it is on Macs, but I know how it is on Windows and uh, Ubuntu. I mean, it works really good. It's got several um, tools in it you know it's not a very big program and I'll leave a link for you in the other two videos that I made I didn't leave links on how to get them um, but you can just go to your web browser and just type it in and, <clears throat> and I mean they're they're not hard searches the only one you may have some difficulty with is the driver identifier and of course I'm gonna go back and try to put the link in the description you know I'm kinda new at posting these uh, tutorials so uh, I'm not quite sure on how to do that yet but anyway let me show you guys how to get this and how it works and some features about it so uh, you open your browser and just type in CC cleaner and you go to like free download and so you got a bunch of them so go to download and it also comes with the trial version and a free version so you click download and here's all the options that you can get you know but I just stick with the free because the free works great and I'll show you how how to do you know what the difference is uh, the free version fast computer privacy protection complete cleaning it says it doesn't do that in this of course in a professional and the plus it does that um, real-time junk monitoring meaning when you get a bunch of files built up you know like cookies and stuff that are it, it will just remind you you know that they're there and it'll, it'll clean <clears throat> automatic history cleaner see now all these things you can do manual with the free version you just have to go in and, and do it you know but the paid version does it <clears throat> automatically so so we'll, and see there's the difference you know you can get a free trial I guess it's 30 days 14 days I'm not sure but I'm gonna go with the free version so and I'm gonna pause it guys until the downloads complete Oh, matter of fact, it was fast, so, well, I'm going to show you guys real quick how to set it up. Close this out. Oh. And it says, by installing this product, you agree to our license agreements and privacy policy. Yes, install. And set up complete I don't know it didn't take long for this I mean I guess what it did it upgraded mine because I probably had an outdated version of it but it's already here so let me open it up and show you some tools well it doesn't take you here if you have the program see so cancel that out and this is the actual program here and this is your windows here and then you can go to applications like you know all that stuff too i don't mess with i got my google chrome i don't let it go into that because i got that set up different but i let it go into all the windows stuff you know and it cleans it out um here as you can see internet this is for uh microsoft edge internet cache internet histories cookies download sessions you know just the basic you know cleanup that you would do for you know but here's some other cool tools here like your registry you know it checks for missing <coughs> shared ddls's as a files unused file extensions activex and class issues typed libraries 
you know, just applications, fonts. I'm not sure a lot of these what they are, but I mean, before you run this, it, it, it allows you to create a backup. So watch, scan for issues. I'm going to hit that. Before I run it, let me open this up to a full page for you guys. Before I actually execute the fix in it, see these are all files that it found. All right, for, for fix it, I asked you, see, do you want to back up changes? And just hit yes, and it'll save it, you know, in your documents here. Bam, and it'll, be, and it'll have CC at the very uh, beginning of the file so you know what it is. And just click fix all issues. The file referred at my name, blah, 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 driver updated utility install application could not be located. These references are to be left behind after the installs. Delete registry. Well, anyway, it just cleaned my, it cleaned my registry. So that's one tool. And then you can go down here and it's got, you know, if you want to remove programs, if you don't know how to do that, this will... You know, and if you don't know how to go into your programs and remove them manually, this will be a tool that you can use to remove programs that you say you're not using a bunch of stuff like, you know, Candy Crush Saga or something that you're not using. And you want to get some room on your hard drive, you can go in and get rid of these files. And it's got a system restore. And all this you can do through Windows, but it's so much easier going through these driver wipes drive wiper and stuff that's got like if you got pictures and stuff of uh, duplicates you know it goes through and finds all that see I, I probably got a lot you know to search see because I've just recently installed a new system you know so I've got several here you know that I can go through and get rid of if I wanted to and you know but I just wanted you guys to you know check out this program Ho hope you guys enjoyed it the selected files have been successfully deleted uh, but anyway guys it's just a great tool and it's free I uh, hope you guys like this video um, if you like it just like subscribe appreciate it